Hello beautiful people, I'm Miha, and thanks for checking out this video about creating artistic nichos to honor and celebrate your loved ones. A little about myself, I am a Mexican-American artist living in the Eugene Springfield area of Oregon, and uh, locals, you may know me as the 2017 Slug Queen, Santa Frida Elisa Refugio Babosita, the patron slug of arts and culture. So I'm excited to share this lovely art form with you. It's a Mexican art form. And if you're creating an ofrenda in honor of Dia de los Muertos this year for your home, you can use this little nicho to um, creatively display a photo of your loved one on your ofrenda. So a little bit about ofrendas. So I first learned about Dia de los Muertos um, probably 15, 20 years ago, but it wasn't until I went to Oaxaca, Mexico and got to experience Dia de los Muertos for myself that I learned about a lot of the uh, traditions there and the ways that they celebrate in Oaxaca. It's not the same everywhere, but in Oaxaca, the ofrenda is um, an altar. Um, families usually create one in their home and on the altar you'll find photos of the loved ones that have passed, family members that have passed away and you'll also find uh, on the ofrenda flowers, food, especially the favorite foods of um, your family members, uh, their favorite drinks and you'll find sugar skulls and pan de muerto which is the bread of the dead created only during this time. And um, the flowers that you'll see are um, very colorful, but the main flower of this holiday is the uh, orange marigold, also called Zambasuchil. And the Zambasuchil is a uh, um, representative of the sun, and it's to help guide the spirits back and you'll also find representation of the different natural elements. So there'll be water, a bowl or a glass of water on the altar. There'll be food, which represents earth. There'll be candles, which represent fire. And then you'll also find papel picado. And uh, papel picado are the colorful tissue paper flags that are cut out with different designs. And that represents wind or air. And again, you know, this is something that you'll find in the home, an ofrenda is something you'll find in the home, but you'll also find them out in the public. Uh, different businesses will create them as well, or you'll find them in, in different public places in Oaxaca. And they're very beautiful. I fell in love with the Dia de los Muertos when I went to Oaxaca. It's such a vibrant, beautiful holiday, and there's so many different elements to it. Um, they're just gorgeous and um, I've been very much inspired by this holiday and the Oaxacan culture um, as an artist. Uh, I, my family is actually from northern Mexico and we did not grow up celebrating Dia de los Muertos so it's not necessarily celebrated all over Mexico. But I'm going to talk today about nichos and nichos are a um, usually little shadow boxes. In Mexico, they often are surrounded by this kind of pressed tin. Inside, there's a little photo of either um, someone that is honored or a saint, or you can put a photo of your um, family member in there and or a friend even that you want to honor. And this is one that I actually got from um, Mexico and it has a, a photo or a picture of a saint in it. You can also create um, nichos with things that you can find around the house. And this little one was created uh, by another artist friend of mine, Marilyn Kent, and given to me by a friend um, because we all love Frida Kahlo. And so she created this nicho for Frida Kahlo. And this was just made out of a little Altoid tin. And you can use ribbons. She used this little braiding that has tassels on it and beading and little flowers. So you can add, you know, things that you have at home, sequins, um, any kind of um, decorative items that you want to include along with your photo. So this is another fun thing that you can do at home. 
And then um, this is a Nietzsche that I created. And even though there's not a photo in it of my grandmother, it's representative of my grandmother and, and it honors her and an experience we had dancing together. And she has since passed. And I created this after her passing. And it has many different elements that represent her. So this rosary was her rosary. She was a devout Catholic. There's some of her jewelry on here and um, some of her figures on here. Um, my grandmother only uh, had one hand. She was born with one hand. And so there's a hand figure here that represents that. Um, and then two hearts that re represent our love. These chilies are on the end, uh, the top here, and uh, they represent her cooking. She was a fantastic cook. And then something you can't see very well, but um, are on here around the base of the chilies are these little seeds and they're uh, sweet pea seeds. And she used to grow sweet peas every year in the desert which is where she lived. Um, she always had a big, beautiful fence of sweet peas. So those are there to represent her. A lot of different representation and the images of um, dancing women so to represent this time that we dance together so this the Springfield library has is offering up these wonderful templates so that you can create your own Nichos at home and uh, I use them to create a couple Nichos also to honor my grandmother so here's one and the first thing I did was I colored in um, the background of the Nicho template that they give you um, just with markers. And then on top of that, I put gems and glitter and um, sequins. I used a little bead, fabric flower. So I just used things that I had around the house and of course, I put a photo of my grandmother. This is one of her when she was younger. Um, I put this in the Nicho as well. Here's another one I made. And this one, also sequins, glitter glue. Who doesn't love glitter glue? Uh, this is just a little sequin of a, a dove and some um, feather up top. So again, you can use whatever decorative items you have at home. You can use ribbons, um, whatever you'd like. And I noticed a couple things when I was creating these. The, uh, the supplies are pretty simple. They give you glue. You'll just need some scissors. And then I also used, um, for the sequins and the gems, I used a little bit thicker, kind of like a tacky glue. Uh, to hold things in place and so that's a little tip for you you might want to have a little tacky glue Elmer's glue might also work as well and then when you're after you've colored in your template um, you have this centerpiece here that you need to cut out and so what I recommend um, is I, I didn't fold it all the way but I just folded it like this and I gave it a little snip with my scissors and that created a slit so that I could then slide my scissors inside and then start cutting around and cut out the center piece and it makes it a little bit easier to get inside there so that you can do that because at first I thought how am I gonna get my scissors in there uh, but that worked out great just making it uh, just slightly folding it not so much that there's a crease but enough that you can just snip the edge and of that inner portion so then you can cut out the center and that way when you create your little shadow box and you put your photo inside you'll have an opening so you can see the photo so an another thing i noticed is that when you get to this point and you're creating your nicho is um it's a sweet little design, but I was having a little bit of a hard time using glue here to hold these flaps down. And you really want to have those flaps because they're a great way to adhere this piece. So what I did was I used a little bit of tape instead, a little bit of, of scotch tape to hold those in place. You could also use glue and tape, 
that would make it even more secure. But that way it held them in place very quickly. And then I can get on with finishing my Nietzsche without having to wait for the glue to dry or to hold it in place while the glue dried. So just a little tip there on um, securing this little shadow box piece. So I hope you enjoyed our video about creating Nichos and that you enjoy making some at home. If you want to create one for the uh, community ofrenda, you can submit it to the Springfield Library and it will be put on the community ofrenda. And that will, uh, the community ofrenda is actually going to be at the Springfield Museum. And don't forget, there's also going to be a procession that's taking place on November 2nd at two o'clock. So you wanna look into that. Um, it will be socially distanced and safe, but it will be a lovely celebration of Dia de los Muertos as well. If you wanna see some ofrendas in person, you can go to the Mod Kearns Art Center and they have an annual Dia de los Muertos exhibition and there are also several ofrendas that have been created by local folks and my mother and I have been creating ofrendas there for the last uh, few years to honor our family members who have passed away. So it's a great place to go and see ofrendas in person and their gallery is open as well. So thanks again for joining me and Feliz Día de los Muertos.